Well, this evening, I'd like to start with a prayer. God is love. And in his love, best truth, and the best goodness, and the best beauty is there. And the love is the spark. So the love becomes our life. We don't know this most important thing, most important love, most important life. The highest love of all is God's love. Lord, we really want to know this love because this love becomes our life. This love turns on our genes and it restores our gene sequence. Our Creator, our God, please be with us at this very moment. So please recreate our changed genes. We earnestly pray in this Jesus' name. Amen. Best sleeping pill is melatonin. It's not man-made sleeping pills. Best anti-cancerous medicine is produced from our genes, which we human beings cannot make. Insulin, which can balance our glucose, we cannot make that. You know, your insulin injection, that's not human made. So the best medicine is So those substances and those best medicine should be produced from our body. That is the best one. You know, we doctors or scientists cannot make that kind of medicine. You know, our cells, they are a pharmaceutical company, let's say factory in our body. Those cells can make the best medicine for our body. We human beings cannot make that anti-cancerous medicine. We cannot make that kind of medicine without side effect. With human intelligence, with human technology, we cannot make those kind of medicine. Mysterious. You know, I have a question, and I can't understand those kind of evolutionary idea that with our human intelligence and with our human technology, we can make those kind of medicine, but then revolutionary, revolution theory, it says, 
It just happens spontaneously. To make the best medicine, we need more than our knowledge. Not only technology, but to design those kind of things, we need higher intelligence, super intelligence than human beings. You know, to design very highly to make that those highly technological uh, machine, we need higher intelligence. You know, computers are very complicated machine, but those computers even cannot be made spontaneously. Now, let's think about ourselves. We cannot be created. We cannot be made spontaneously. The theory, evolutionary evolution theory, I cannot understand. But actually, that theory is controlling this world. And that's why doctors and scientists cannot heal us. Now, lymphatic toxin, which kills cancer cells, is made, in, made from T cells. Now, there are more than that. But anyways, we human beings cannot make those kind of substances. substances. then who can design and who can make that kind of substances? It's got to be higher. It's got to be super than human intelligence. Then whose intelligence can it be? <coughs> it has got to be God's level. As we see living creatures and we ourselves living in this world, this is mysterious per se. Very secretive, very mysterious, because human beings cannot know about this. It cannot happen spontaneously. This afternoon I said our genes respond to meaning. I want to explain this specifically tonight. This is a one of the magazines, Science News. The cover story is Changing Sex in Mid-Ocean. Mid-Ocean means in the middle of the sea, in the middle of the Great Sea. No, the fish is changing its sex. What an amazing phenomenon. Now, this fish is a male fish. I really respect this fish. Do you know why I respect it? You will find out later. You know this male fish? It leaves 12 female fish. Don't you respect this male fish? 
You know, we <laughs> men, uh, we have difficult times with <laughs> even one female. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, in <laughs> that fish society, <laughs> fe male fish is very rare. So the scientists <laughs> thought, hmm, what if there's no male fish in that group? That fish lived near Australia, great called Great Barrier. This is a tropical fish there. So these scientists took the male fish out, and they examined. They looked into it. And now those twelve female fish, one out of those twelve fish, became a male fish within 72 hours. Wow. So mysterious. Now, to change sex, what should be changed? Yes, the genes should be changed to change sex. So before we find found out these kind of facts, we thought our gene change means mutation. You know, it's very difficult to have this mutation. And this mutation happens through thousands of years. But actually, mutation can happen according to the need in any time. So the genes respond to the need, yes. And we see many evidence of this kind of gene change. Now, in the laboratory, we culture this germ. If we put penicillin, you know, most the germs die, but some germs don't die. But instead, those germs produce some kind of antibiotic things to fight over that penicillin and things. Yet many kinds of change happen. Now, if some kind of germs or virus comes into your body, your B cells, you know, they make antibody, they form antibody in you. They form antibody, those B cells form antibody in you. There's a blood vessel. That is the blood vessel. And those red things are the red cells. And that's the cell membrane, cell wall. And those are the white blood cell. Now they're standing in line to get out of the blood vessel. That, that's the outside of the blood vessel. Now those germs intruded inside. Now T cells were in the blood vessel, and those are B cells, B lymphocyte. Now they all went out. of the blood vessel because those germs intruded. Now those T cells are ordering those B cells. 
to kill these germs. Now, when those germs intrude your body, do you know where and do you know what kind of germs in your body? If you raise your hand, means you have to stay in the mental hospital. We don't know what kind of germs or where it comes to our body. Actually, you don't need to know. Because 95% of our subconscious already know this. See those T cells? They're pushing those germs out of your blood vessel. Is it believable or unbelievable? Believable. It is believable, but then people don't want to believe. You know, there are many kinds of germs, thousands of germs. So once the germs come in, those B cells, they form antibody. They're programmed to form antibody. Those Y look like look Y shape. That's antibody. You know, those antibody works like uh, handcuffs. Let's say the germs are the thief, and then they put handcuffs on those germs. Once they had handcuffs on, then according, because of those B cells, those germs are eaten. Through what kind of process? Okay, that those germs are the uh, put handcuffs on germs. And this B, this is the B cells. Uh, these white blood cells stretches out its hand and grabs it. Interesting thing is, you know those handcuffs? Handcuffs are changing according to the germs. Hmm, mysterious. We don't even know. Our 5% of conscious can't tell. It has got to be super beings. It's got to be higher beings. So genes are forming antibody. Every time germs come in, they make new antibody. To make that new antibody, we have to have new genes. So means so it means genes are changing. So spontaneously, those genes change. So you know, gene doesn't change through thousands and thousands of years of time. Now, scientists put this phenomena hypermutation. Mutation means change, and hyper means, you know, very fast and super. So they call this hypermutation. They thought this hypermutation happens to this immune system, but actually, not only this immune system, but also in fish, among fish, it happens. So you know, now everything is different. We learn that our genes don't change. So we, we call sometimes some kind of disease, uh, that's inheritory. So we said, uh, that's incurable. But even though this, is, this disease is inheritory, but if you have the spark and if you have the proper environment, those genes will turn back to what they were originally. You can restore your changed genes. So you know gene change? Gene change according to the need. 
according to your need. If you convey your meaning to your genes, then things will be different. You need the spark, you need the proper environment, and you need faith. It's very mysterious. Now, you cannot deal those mysterious things with your 5% of conscious. Why? Those things are very secretive to us. Why? Because those things happen in our 95% of un subconscious. So evolution means those those things level down, those mysterious things into spontaneous things. You know, evolutionary, evolution theory, they accept some kind of things, but then when it goes up to the mysterious things, then they just say, mm, that just happens spontaneously because they don't want to accept the existence of God. If they try to rationally explain, they can't do it. You know, you know Charles Darwin? Do you know what did his father do? Do you know what did Charles Darwin's father do? Pastor. His father was a pastor. Now this son Darwin, Charles Darwin, as he sees his father doing, he felt like there is no God. So he made this condition, there is no God. And he tried to rationalize his theory, his evolution, evolution theory. And he said everything like random and spontaneous. And then he started, but everything didn't really make sense. So he started to talk about natural selection. So he said, you know, there is there is like some kind of power which decides these creatures to go. But that is God. That some kind of power is God. Outwardly, sounds like he's denying God. But actually, that some kind of power, that supernatural power, that kind of superpower, is God. He said natural selection force but actually that is God. So if you think rationally, you know, those kind of spontaneous or random things cannot happen. When you study these kind of things at school, you just, mm, okay, and then you just pass. You know, I was in medical school, and with this kind of theory, I couldn't even give myself a proper treatment. But as I practice New Start, my symptoms and my diseases are all gone. Not only I'm healthy, but also I can make those cancer patients sing and dance. You know, those ex-patients' families, they love, they love their ex, you know, patients' wife, their wives, 
who were once got sick. So they're all used our family. Now let's go back to this fish story. Now even these female fish didn't realize what was happening. But then one of the female fish changed into male fish. Oh, whoops, I am a male now. This is mysterious. This cannot happen by chance. You know, it's like, you know, those baby turtles go to the sea by chance and they go to Okinawa by chance. That doesn't make sense. You know, these complicated living creatures, if they do this kind of things by chance, then how can they, the those evolutionists say these salmon you know, smells the smell of the water and they go back to where they're born. That doesn't make sense. Now, you have to think correctly. You have to think right to get yourself better. So there is a proverb. Even though you have a big trouble, if you're wide awake, you will find a way to, s you will find a way to get out of your trouble. Wide awake means you have to think correctly. It means you realize the truth. So in nature, you know, there is a kind of there is going to be a in there is going to be intelligence to balance this nature. Now Charles Darwin talked about natural selection force. But some of the scientists now they say universal intelligence. Well, they don't call, you know, existence because if it's going to be existence, then it's directly connected to God. So they say it's got to be natural selection. They don't want to use this word God because they want to deny this power comes from God. So instead of existence, they say cosmic intelligence or they say cosmic consciousness these days I read this book called nature's mind well, as you see the title, it's closer to God. Now, random, and it, it develops into natural selection force, and then it goes cosmic intelligence, and then it develops mind, and it develops love, and if it develops a little more, it's going to be God. So that is God's evolution. Uh, you have to know God's evolution. If you think rationally, you will find God's existence clearly. It's not about religion. This is a very rational result. You know, there are thousands and thousands of species in Pacific Ocean.
Now this creator knows which group doesn't have male fish. This creator knows this group needs a male fish or else they're going to be extinct. So they need this male fish and I need to make this male fish here in this group. So this creator changed the gene sequence and then this female fish became male fish. Wonderful. Everybody, if there's creator who is changing female sex into male sex, then, you know, change the no cancer cells into normal cells? Come on, that's very easy. That's no problem. He can do it. He can, he can change your change the cell into normal cells. This is very easy to think of. It's not like I am very intelligent or smart to reach this result. It's, it's very easy for all of us can think like this way, but then you don't think freely. Like the little two kids, they said, don't you stretch in your physical education class? Now, you need to think freely. You shouldn't put yourself in a little room. Now, you are like in the little box. Cancer means operation, and that's going to be chemotherapy. You know, and uh, operation and chemotherapy, you know, always you repeat, you're repeating this system. Now, our modern medicine has been teaching us that way, and doctors are also can think, they can only think this way. But if you're out of this box, you'll be free. Getting out of this kind of box, you will become, you will finally become a butterfly out of cocoon. You know those little worms in a cocoon, they think that's the, that's the all, the space they could have. They have no idea how, how wide and how large outside. They have no, they don't even know their potential. Those caterpillars don't know that they are going to have wings. That we have a lot of potential, unlimited potential. But we've been thinking like this caterpillar in a cocoon. Even though the Bible says you will resurrect and you will live again but then we don't believe it come on that's all you know I don't believe that we said this kind of things because we don't know our real world now if this female fish can change into a male fish then who is doing it yes the creator is doing it so if we accept the existence of our creator, you are free. You become free. Creator will get us out of the box. Well, if God exists, then I can live. I surely can live if creator exists. You know, I am a doctor. You know, when I was in medical school, hmm. there are a lot of cells consisting our body. 
We learn that um, there are some cells which can regenerate, which can be regenerated. For example, our skin cells, and our stomach cells, and our liver cells, something like that. But there are some cells which cannot be regenerated. For example, kidney cells, or heart muscle cells, or the cartilage. And the most difficult one is brain cells. We learned that way. So we thought that was all. But that was the point of the doctors without New START, of course. In that level, yes, those cells will not be regenerated. No spark, no proper environment. Without those without the spark, without the proper environment, of course, those cells will not be regenerated. So those, you know, uh, paralyzed patients, ah, oh, so my cells cannot be regenerated, then do I have to live in this way? Well, I'm sorry. Then those patients, yes, they will stop in their way because they believe what their doctor said. Without spark, without proper environment, doctors just said it. But then the patients just believe the doctor. Now, 26 years ago, from now on, I realized the existence of the Creator. Right after I realized the existence of the Creator, I thought, well, Every cell should be regenerated because our Creator will can regenerate our cells no matter what kind of cells they are, you know, kidney cells and brain cells and everything. Our Creator created all the cells. Now, if there is God, if there is Creator, then he can, he can regenerate all the cells in my body. Now, me, myself, right after I realized the existence of the Creator, I could be able to get out of the box. So I really pray that uh, our president, Lee Myung-bak, is the one who can be get out of the box. I hope he can see more and beyond. You know, I am an American citizen, so I have no right to vote. Well, I don't know our president, Lee, personally, well, I'm not, of course, campaigning him because he is our president now. <laughs> but when he was a, a mayor in Seoul, he paid all the debts and he actually made profits. I thought, wow, that's something. If that mayor is in the box, he, you know, wouldn't be able to do that. But, you know. Yeah, of course. Mayor and president, they're different position. But we'll see. You know, even though he wants to, he can't do whatever he wants to. Anyway, I accepted Jesus, our Creator, in eight, 1982, and I decided to think, hmm, yes, brain cells can be regenerated. 
And I assume that several years later, scientists will find out these na brain cells can be regenerated. You know what? Amazing thing happened. Now our common sense turned upside down. Neuron can multiply. That was the title of the report. There it says, we have about, in our brain, about 100,000s of cells are dying in our brain. But they don't regenerate, so those brain cells are just dying. That was our common sense. Now, it's now 1988. This common sense turned upside down. Scientists found out that the brain cells are regenerated. Those brain cells who didn't exist before can be made in our brain. So some of them, so some of us, we have dementia, losing memory. Some of them don't. Those who have dementia, their brain cells are dying. Now every day our brain cells are dying. About 100,000 brain cells are dying every day. Well, that's the average number. Some people, 180,000 brain cells die, and for me, my case, let's say 20,000 brain cells are dying every day. So, you know, if you add together, so 200,000 cells together divide two people, okay, so we have this statistical number. Neuron itself, it doesn't divide, But before, we have neuron stem cells, and those neur uh, s nerve stem cells are making those cells, brain cells. Scientific America. 11 years later, they prove. So 1988, some scientists found this fact. Well, because the science world is also in the frame, it is very difficult to get out of the frame. You know, when Galilei said, Anyway, the earth goes around. Well, he admitted that the earth doesn't go around at the court. But then as he left the court, he said the earth goes around. Many people believed Copernicus. People don't want to go against the common sense. Right now, your disease, you cannot overcome your disease in this frame. You have to get out of this frame to overcome your problems. You know, volunteers here, 
you know, once they had their life history, you know, they had all cancers, but they got out of the box and got out of the frame, and now they're very good and healthy. You know, I know you're out of your frame. that they are the brain cells, those red ones, those are the mature cells, and those are the nucleus in the brain cell. Now those brain cells have long tails. It acts like, it acts like the electrical wire because they convey signals each other. They connect and contact many other cells together. Now in the, in the even brain cells, their um, stem cells are forming. So that is the first stage cell got matured, and then second cell, that's immature cells. Now we call this primitive cells as stem cells. Now these stem cells become immature cells. And the second stage, that becomes, that becomes like the uh, kindergarten cells. It doesn't have long tail. Now, third stage, through this stage, it becomes a brain cell. As you look at this, what do you need to think? Now, if you have some problems with your kidney, if you have blood transfusion because of a kidney failure, then you should think, hmm, then kidney also have the stem cells. Then I can also get better. Then it means you're out of the frame. But the problem is, the problem is, you think, hmm, if that's happening in the brain, then that's just it. But it's not going to happen to my kidney. People are trained this way. The moment when I accepted our Creator, I believe that scientists will find those brain cells regenerating. Now, 17 years later, actually, scientists proved perfectly that our brain cells regenerate. I thought, you know, many people thought brain cells cannot be regenerated. But if brain cells can be generated, then kidney cells or our heart muscle cells or all, all the cells in our body cannot help being regenerated. Because nobody thought our brain cells can be regenerated. Now, even though the scientists and the doctors couldn't find that kidney cells or heart muscle cells are regenerated, even though they couldn't find yet, I'm sure they're going to find out soon. It's going to be the matter of time. I'm sure they're going to find out. By the way, those scientists already yeah. found out those kidney cells and cartilage and those heart muscle cells are re can be regenerated. So let's say this stomach cancer patient cut off his stomach. People who are in the box wouldn't believe that his stomach will grow again. But those who are out of the box 
will believe that their stomach will grow again. Now, let's say, hmm, this person is eating, and then Creator will think, hmm, this person needs stomach. Then I'm going to work on his gene sequence, and then I will give him stomach. You know, our intestine genes can be a stomach. You know, every cells were actually were the same. In the beginning, they were just stem cells. Before, they were split it out all different cells. Now, the problem is, if you want to have these stem cells to be brain cells, then you can only awake. Uh, you can only wake the brain cells, brain genes, to become brain cells. So even though, you know, you have these intestines, but then if in the cell, if the stomach genes are awake there, then stomach can grow from there. Now, every cells are different, but they're all cousins. For example, you have no stomach, then you have to take duodenum, or you have to take small intestines for stomach cell, stomach, But later, when you open up those duodenum or those small intestine <laughs> cells are not that duodenum or small intestine cells, but they're stomach cells. They're changed. Remember the fish? Female changed into male. I'm talking about getting out of the box. You know, there are two kinds of doctors. Some doctors, yes, that's right, that's right. Some doctors agree. That is true, that is true. But the other group of doctors, do you have the proof? Do we have the proof? You know, we don't have any results yet. Now those doctors are, those doctors want to stay in the box. You know, maybe about on Friday, we're going to doctor is going to come doctor a doctor is going to visit us on friday um she's chan kyung hee's mother her mother watched tv program on ebs i was on and then i was giving lecture and as she watched the TV program, she phoned me and said, yes, that is it, yes, that is it. Now, these days, she's on the phone all day to give lectures about New Start. You know, there are some doctors like her. But some doctors who are in the box, they're more like, They're more like authority, authoritarianism. They don't want to get out of those very formal form, formal frame. Those who love New Start, you know, there are many doctors who love New Start. But those who want to keep the system they don't want to get out of the box. It's very difficult to get out anyway. Well, actually, if they are out of the box, they're going to lose their jobs. Mm. 
even though they give analog treatment, but there are some doctors um, who are out of the box, at least men inside. You know how hard, how hard it was for me to hear, you know, these kind of stories from many other people. Some people said I was crazy. Some people blamed me. But you know what? No, I am sure about this new start because I've been lecturing on TV and I have this seminar. So, you know, I can get over those kind of, you know, blaming. But some doctors, they can't. Because, you know, if you're a doctor and you talk about the spark, then, you know, people will laugh at you. People will make fun of you if you talk about the spark. But for you guys, you know, you didn't study medicine, and for you, it is very natural. Yeah, you guys accept this truth easily. So, you know, our brain cells can be regenerated. Any cells can be regenerated. So what's the condition? Okay, proper environment, yes. The spark is very important. Nineteen ninety five October Brain may grow new cells daily. Every day our brain regenerates cells. That's the newspaper report. It was, you know, a great hit. It was a sensational news on New York Times back in old time. But in Korea, we didn't have this news. This is not just a piece of news. You know, there are Princeton University doctors and Rockefeller University. Dr. Eric Kundal, Columbia University. You know, they're all the best universities, and they found Eric Kundal won the Nobel Prize. Princeton University, Columbia University, you know, they're the all the best universities. After that, Harvard, you know, they also found together. They now know that brain cells can, re can be regenerated. Now, what is the condition to regenerate our brain cells? How much influence does this brain cells get from the environment? Now, this group of mice, they had nothing, but they were fed. They just live like that way. What kind of life is that? You're just, you know, eating. You're just eating. Well, I was, I lived in America for a while, so, you know, I came to Korea and I asked, so, sir, what do you do? And then he said, well, you know, I can just live on. And I was, you know, looking at his watch, his Rolex, and, you know, he's like really, he looks really luxurious and rich. And later I found out that, I found out the word I can just live means you are living a very abundant, I mean, very rich life. That's just the Korean way of expression. Now the second group of the mice is in they lived in an enriched environment. Now number 
first case was just a normal case, but the second case that is more like enriched environment. Now those mice, they had same amount of food, and the first case and the second case, they had experiment for several months. And then after that, they killed the mice and they looked into, examined the brain cells. Now you see the number of new neurons for 1,000 and 2,000. There about 2,300 brain cells were regenerated. That's the controlled mice. That was the controlled mice. That was the case one. They wanted to compare. They wanted to compare this B group with A. Now this enriched environment mice, even though they had the same food, 4,000 4,000 of brain cells were regenerated. Now for human beings, we're going to have better difference. Have you ever seen the horse and the cow? You know, they just stay calm. Do you think they're bored? When you look at those cows, do you think they're bored? You know, they have no connotation, that kind of connotation. But then we human beings, we are highly developed. So if our brain doesn't work, it's very painful. So when children don't have nothing to do, they're stressed. When we say we have nothing to do, that's very stressful. So there, in that group, if human beings are there, a lot of brain cells will be killed. Now, what is enriched environment for us? What is enriched environment for us? Yes, that's new start environment. That is new start environment. You see the sea, you can look at the sea, ocean, nice diet. And you listen to the lecture, and you clap, and you sing, and you exercise. <laughs> interesting. Wow, this is interesting. If you feel that way, if you accept, if you admit this environment as an interesting environment, and moreover, if you feel that, oh, God sent those things for me. Wow, that's wonderful. Then your genes are turned on actively. So, acknowledging the existence of God is very important. So, when you read the book of Revelation, there it says, remember your creator. Many people say, I believe in God. But then they said, but our brain cells will not be regenerated. You know, I believe God, that God created us, but then you know what? Brain cells are not going to regenerate it. That doesn't make sense. Well, you think you believe in God, but God sees them, they don't believe me. So-called Christians, there are many Christians in this world, but actually, truly, there are not many Christians. You know, I know a lot of you go to church, but, you know, you guys are in the box, and you don't really admit the existence of God. 
you didn't have the confidence that God is going to heal you. But then I know, I know you're out of the box. She got 52 times of chemotherapy, but now she's out of the box now. Now, 50 time, 52 times of chemotherapy. Now, her cancer cells don't listen to the chemotherapy anymore. And now the hospital gave up. Now she's out of the box. The hospital says, you know what? We have no more medicine to use on you. Well, eat whatever you want to eat and have fun and prepare for your death. But this lady, well, okay, I can die, but I want to prac practice new start before I die. I'm going to give everything to God. And now she feels very peaceful. And now she's going to give everything to God. Totally, she's going to give everything to God. Now, as I look at her face, I think she's doing it. But you know, not many people give everything to God. You know, that's why God sparked me so that I can give you this kind of lecture. And that's what I'm doing it. You know, God is love. God never gives up. God tries very hard because he wants to heal all of you. That's why he made this New Start program. Now God gives me this joy to me as I practice this new start. Well, actually, he first healed my sicknesses. I'm so thankful for everything. Thankfulness is not hypocrisy. This is the reality. I am very thankful, you know. I'm excited. I'm thrilled. If you say you have faith, if you say you want to believe, you need to do it for real. You know, now God himself changes those genes of the fish. Now in the Bible, look at the birds in the sky. Look at the flowers in the field. You know those lilies in the Bible? It's not like the lilies we see. When you go to those uh, Middle Asia, those flowers are everywhere. So here, when he says lilies, means like, those. look at those flowers all around. You know, I control their genes, and I grow them. What about you? He says this way. What a wonderful God. He changes the sex in fish. And he's balancing the ecological system. What about us? We're more precious. Why can't God balance your genes? Now everybody, creator, 
the source of creation. You know, creator exists. Now you know the mystery of genes, and now you know our creator exists. I really hope you are all be healed by this power of God. Let us sing, God is so good. You created this world, this universe, and us. Father, you're giving us the truth and the goodness and the beauty. You created those letters in our genes. Father, please help us. Father, you, loves, you love us so much, but then we didn't know your love. Even though we say we we'll believe you, but then we didn't know how much you have been taking care of us. We didn't accept that. Father, we were in the uh, spiritual autistic state. Father, I want to have eye contact with you. Please help us. In your eyes, I want to find love in you so that my genes will realize your love so because of the power of love may our turned off genes be turned on and restore and regenerate our turned off genes so that please heal us with your love This evening, this night, tonight, we're going to go to bed. We are not going to have our conscious. But, Father, I know that you are going to work in our 95% of subconscious. You're going to heal our genes. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's encourage each other. Have a wonderful rest.